I call Melissa Lee. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I recognise the member who just sat down and actually would like to say to that member that most New Zealanders actually want a growing economy, not just That's about right. railways. That's right. um, so it's a great pleasure to speak in the general debate. Um, and, this, and I'm very proud to be standing here as part of the national Lee. Lee. government, uh, uh, led by our forward. very able uh, Prime Minister, yeah, uh, yeah. John Key. And recently, actually about a month ago, I was in Korea uh, while the Prime Minister and the Trade Minister was actually signing the FTA deal with Korea. It was a long and protected, uh, protracted agreement um, uh, dis you know, debate that actually went on and we finally signed it. And immediately in the first year, we will actually benefit by $65 million. That's uh, because there is high tariff in Korea. So our national-led government has been active in improving the lives of New Zealanders. Uh, this is evidence in our strong economy and our social progress. Our economy is strong and is rapidly growing compared to the rest of the world, sir. And there are 74,000 more people employed, uh, the, um, it, m employed than a year ago. And wages are rising faster and, uh, than inflation, and we're constantly supporting the growth of new industries like ICT and high-tech manufacturing. So, yeah, so um, so today I had the opportunity to visit the Callaghan Innovation um, with the Education and Science Select Committee, and there I actually came across some new developments in photovoltaic research, and to actually sort of think that we can reduce the amount of uh, solar panels, which are really, really expensive, and using the colour technology that they're developing on our houses. I mean, the future is really, really innovative, and I, th I, I was very excited to actually see that kind of development. Monsieur. So, in terms of social progress, New Zealand is ranked among the best in the world. New Zealand is a great place to raise our family. I myself, as a mother of a teenage son, can proudly say that I am very lucky to be raising a child in New Zealand. Our children are highly educated and are given the opportunity to maximize their fullest potential. And I'm, I, I'm sure that Lydia Cole and Danny, Danny Lee's parents actually agree that they had the opportunity to give the best to their children because they they lived in New Zealand, sir. However, um, you know, all parents actually want to do this for, um, uh, for their children, but sometimes there are issues, and uh, I want us to talk just a little bit about domestic violence and family violence, sir. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I, um, I, actually about a week and a half ago, I, I was very lucky to MC an event uh, which was uh, done by um, um, Gandhi Niwa's uh, charitable trust in Auckland, where they were raising money to house perpetrators of domestic violence. Uh, often it is actually the victims who are uprooted from their home. It was, it's, the, it's the women and the children who are uprooted, and they're actually taken away from their homes, uh, away from the things that they know. But the Gandhi Niwa's charitable trust is actually looking at taking away the perpetrators so that the victims can remain at home in the comfort of their their home so that uh, they're providing housing for the perpetrators, they're providing counselling for the perpetrators and doing it in a very culturally sensitive and culturally appropriate way uh, that is not just shock horror, you know, to remove the family and split the family up. And I commend the work of the uh, Gandhi Niwas, and I know that uh, Minister Pesita Samlo Tuinga was actually there, and members of the opposition were there as well. I, I, I see my... Uh, my uh, um, Mahesh Bindra from New Zealand First. I know that uh, that member was very supportive of that of, of that trust as well. So um, I thank the member for being there, and we raised a lot of money, and I'm very proud that we've actually been able to do that, sir. Um, Sir, so we are very focused no, no. as a government, um, and we are focused uh, in our work around the main priorities. And our main priorities revolve around the responsibly managing of the government finances, so that taxpayers' money is spent wisely on the services that New Zealanders actually need and require. And it's not about frivolously spending on a, uh, a particular like of certain members of this uh, our parliament. It's about responsibly managing the whole country. Uh, and, and I think most New Zealanders see that this national-led government has been able to do that, sir. We're also building a more productive and competitive economy to support more jobs, raise incomes, and build opportunities for all New Zealand families, and not just people in Auckland 
or, or Dunedin. It's not all just about one specific area, it's about all of New Zealand. And I know that there has been focus actually um, uh, in the uh, growth of eco uh, uh, jobs in the rural sector as well. And that is also evident in the uh, rollout of ultra-fast broadband, sir. It's not just in Auckland that is actually That's happening, right. it's happening right around the country. So we are also delivering better public services so that our school continues to and also better educate our students. And today we had the top scholars of N NCEA in Parliament, and I know one of them, the top female scholar, was actually a Korean girl, and her name is Han Sol Nam. And I met her oh, uncle in Korea, who was so very proud of her, and I'd like to congratulate all of those scholars, sir. Thank you.